Hello, today we are going to study about VLAN, why we need VLAN, why do we increase the broadcast domain. Um, here there are four computers, they can talk to each other. Uh, here I have assigned this one as 10.1, this is 10.2, this is 10.4 and 10.5. See here, the, these all, all are switch, so all are connected to switch. They can talk to each other. I can ping and I can talk to each other. The problem in switch is, uh, switch doesn't uh, put any kind of commands. Here I can change the IP address and work like a manager. I can change my IP address as 5 and I can talk to anyone in the uh, in the LAN. So what I do is I'm going to show you how why do we need VLAN so that we can increase the broadcast domain and how to assign VLAN. So I go to switch and uh, in configuration mode it's very simple. Uh, before we go and assign I will show you they are already a uh, few VLANs which is there show. VLAN. It'll show me the VLAN. See here, we have VLAN here. There are already a uh, few VLANs which is there by default. There are five VLANs. We're not going to study about this nor bother about this now. V here, all the interface by default are into VLAN 1. There is by default, see here, it's written by default all the interface are in vlan 1 so that means they can talk to each other now we are going to remove this uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and put into vlan 1 so how will we do that now get into configuration mode and then first create vlan 10 or vlan 100 anything vlan 100 that's orange team so we will name for this vlan we'll give name as ali okay so we have created a vlan here now after creating the vlan again i go to configuration mode and tell which interface is vlan okay so we have uh, to put two interface into the vlan so we have to put a special word here so i have to put range range means more than one vlan i'm going to put to this uh, vlan so i put fast ethernet zero slash zero slash two that's it i have put two fast ethernet zero slash one and zero slash two okay now i tell switch port i put a question mark switch port I put switch port access VLAN. Now I give the name of the VLAN. What was the name of the VLAN? It was 100. That's it. Finish. Now I have to create another VLAN that is VLAN 200. So I put VLAN 200 and then tell name. Name was Marai. So I put Marai and exit and then go to interface and bind it to the interface so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 4 dash 5 okay which interface i want sorry i didn't put range see here uh, because i didn't put range it didn't take it it's showing me where is the problem interface range it took now so the we have to bind to the interface switch port axis VLAN 200 okay so we have created two groups so before I created VLAN I showed you that this computer was able to talk to this computer so I put the IP address here it was able to ping so I put the same number and try to ping it will not work it cannot talk see time out yes so I, I found my own group uh, the other group cannot talk to me now see here I will change I will remove the IP address of this person I will I will just remove this think this manager is not working he was his uh, he, he's, he's sick he's on a leave for two days so what I do is I will tell uh, I am a hacker I want to use uh, my manager's computer so what I do I put five and try, 
try to talk to my other manager. Okay, so I try to put the command ping 10.0.0.4. It will not talk. Even though I have used my manager's IP address, I cannot talk because I have formed my own group. Okay, so now I, will, I can, even though I have changed my IP address, I can talk to my group. I will show you how I can talk to my group. It's just taking time. Okay, now I will ping 10.0.0.2. It should work because it's my group. I changed my IP address to any range, no problem. But only these two computers can talk to each other. Like Ali's group can talk only with Ali's team and Marai's group can talk only with Marai's team. Okay, hope you understood about VLAN. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.